Hey, what's up, everybody? We're back with another episode of The Roundup, where we give you what you want to hear in entertainment news. If you've been wanting even more zombies in your life, then soon enough you'll have another show to chew on. See what I did there? Because, you know, chew. Zombies chew people. The comic book series Empire of the Dead by Mr. Zombie himself, George Romero, is going to be adapted for TV. Looks like Romero will be writing the adaptation with his writing partner, Peter Grunwald. If you're not up to speed on what Empire of the Dead is about, it's a story that takes place in New York City years after a zombie virus hits. Things get even more dangerous when vampires are thrown in the mix. They come around looking to claim whatever's left of the earth. Normally, I would write something like that off, but with Romero behind it, I'm completely and totally on board. The 15-issue story is currently being published by Marvel, and there's no official word yet on when we will see Romero's newest zombie tale on the small screen, but you better believe I'll be keeping an eye out for more details. Superhero movies are all the rage now, and it's rare to find an actor that has not been in one. So it shouldn't have been a surprise when Matthew McConaughey recently stated that he's been reading scripts from both Marvel and DC. My first thought was, who could he possibly play? And then that's when the first big rumor hit. It's being reported that Marvel is eyeing him to take up the role of Spider-Man villain Norman Osborn for their reboot film. The source of this info claims it's 100% reliable from the fact that they were correct on numerous details of Avengers Age of Ultron. I honestly think that playing a villain would be perfect for McConaughey. I mean, he can definitely be intense and menacing when given the chance. Does anybody remember Texas Chainsaw Massacre of the New Generation? No? Probably just me? I feel like this would really give the Osborne character a chance to grow and evolve. We could even see him possibly throw on the Iron Patriot suit at one point or another, if we're lucky. I've been guilty of being critical of some casting choices in the past, but I really feel like this is a good choice if they choose to go down that route. Recently, videos and photos have surfaced from the set of the Suicide Squad film that give us a look at the Joker. And it looks like we've been duped. As I mentioned in a previous video, people went crazy when they saw the picture of the Clown Prince of Crime for the first time, mainly because of all the tattoos. Director David Ayer then said that the tattoos were merely done as a tribute to the character and that it was not the final look. Well, it looks like we've been lied to because these photos from the set show Jared Leto's Joker with tattoos peeking out from under his shirt and then the obvious one on his forehead. I mean, it isn't completely horrible, but to be honest, I do feel a little betrayed by Ayer. Or right, whatever, I'm still going to go see it anyway. From there, we get to see his choice of transportation, which is a beautiful purple Lamborghini. The Joker and Harley Quinn then have some words with each other and the trucker gets shot by Harley. Looks like a pretty intense scene between the two, and I like the fact that they actually made Joker very classy but yet still dangerous at the same time. The production crew is stating that Leto is staying in character on set at all times and that his performance rivals that of the late Heath Ledger. That's a pretty big bar to top, but hopefully he does a great job. Do you guys want more zombies in your life with Empire of the Dead? How do you feel about the idea of Matthew McConaughey playing Norman Osborn? And what about the Joker's appearance? How do you feel about that? Let me know in the comments below. Click on Bad Joker to subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up while you're there, and if you can, share this video. It's much appreciated. Thanks for watching another episode of The Roundup. We'll catch you next time.